Time to panic. Time to panic. It is time to panic. Time to panic. NBA Live 20 delayed officially. Oh my, it is time to panic. It's time to panic. It's time to panic. I don't know if y'all know, but it's time to panic. NBA Live 20 has officially been delayed. But what's good, Fly Squad? First off, shout out Nody Squad for coming through off the early. Y'all already know if you are new, make sure you sub to the channel and turn on those notifications for all news, gameplay, and speculation. And make sure you like that video because it definitely helps your boy out. But before we get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. Now, as I stated, it seems like EA Sports has already delayed NBA Live 20. It was reported earlier this year that EA Sports was releasing NBA Live 20 in fiscal quarter number two for EA Sports. However, now it's looking like NBA Live won't be released until fiscal quarter number three. Based on this article by Polygon, it looks like NBA Live 20 is looking to release later in the year than they typically have over the past few years. Now, in my opinion, there's a few ways that you can actually look at this. One, you feel like EA Sports is actually canceling NBA Live 20, which is definitely a plausible thing to actually think, given that in the past when EA Sports has delayed something, they usually cancel it. For example, I believe NBA Elite 11 was initially delayed, and so was NBA Live 17. They were both delayed games, but then they never actually came out. And if that's what you think, I don't blame you because EA Sports hasn't really put out anything for you to be able to trust them to say, yo, this game is still going to come out. So I understand if you really feel like NBA Live is going to be canceled this year. Now, another thing some people might think is that EA Sports is shifting their focus and not really focusing on NBA Live 20, but instead focusing on the next iteration, given that the next iteration will be on next gen consoles. And if you have that thought process, that's another thing that I don't think you should be knocked for. Given that, NBA Live 14 was a piece of trash, don't get me wrong. It had simulation aspects, but it was really Rock'em Sock'em Robots NBA Live 14 edition. So some people actually want them to go ahead and put some focus in the next gen now so that they have ample amount of time to create a product that's actually decent because it's been a while since NBA Live has had a consensus that their product is decent. Yes, there are people that like the game. However, most people feel like the game is a joke. So if they did decide to shift their focus on the NBA Live 21 or whatever they decide to call it on the next gen consoles, I wouldn't be completely upset. But there's also one other thing you could actually possibly be thinking. My thought process is that EA Sports is technically really not trying to go head to head with 2K on release day. That's really one thing that they're trying to stop doing in my opinion. And at the same time, they're trying to go back to the original release dates of October release dates opposed to September release dates. Especially because NBA 2K Sports keeps pushing up their release dates. If you think about it, they started off in mid-October, beginning of October-ish. Then they went to end of September, then middle of September. Now they're coming out the first week of September. So it's like, I don't really feel like EA Sports can actually compete especially given that their development team is a lot smaller they can't do that they can't keep pushing up their release date like NBA 2k does NBA live needs as much time as possible to even sniff a decent customer base because right now they have pretty much the same guys buying the game year in and year out I don't feel like they're growing as much as they would like to and if they are growing at all now in that article it does say that EA Sports said that they're trying something different and what something different remains to be seen we do not know what something different means quite yet however that could be just changing the release date that could be what the difference is but at the same time I feel like it's actually something even bigger than that personally I'm thinking EA Sports might actually go the free to play route if they go the free to play route for a sports video game I'm telling you, that's going to actually change the landscape of basketball video games right then and there because people are going to have options. The issue currently is nobody's trying to pay for NBA Live. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. So if they went ahead and made NBA Live free to play, think about it, more people would actually play the game just because it's free. That's what happened with Fortnite. That's what happened with Apex. People played the game because it was free. 
Unfortunately, I don't even feel like a regular price drop is going to help EA Sports at this time when it comes to NBA Live. So if they made the game free to play and the only thing you guys actually had to pay for was cosmetics, that would make the game a little bit more enticing to actually purchase opposed to paying 30 to 60 bucks for a game that, you know, a lot of people don't even play. It's 2019 right now. EA Sports cannot compete the traditional way. They literally have to do something outside of the box in order for anybody to even take EA Sports seriously when it comes to NBA Live 20 because right now, like I said, 2K has the lion's share of the market. NBA 2K is out here changing lives if you think about it with their league. Also, all their YouTubers, a lot of their YouTubers are making so much money. It's so much money that people aren't going to even come give NBA Live a try just because of how much money NBA 2K can make them on YouTube if they decide to blow up. Now, if NBA Live was to make their game free, that could be something that could change the game. Their game free? Come on now. People would actually try the game, and if they actually tried the game, you never know what kind of sales you could get out of it when it comes to buying those cosmetic items, and you don't know who's going to blow up on YouTube off of just creating different players, playing different modes, because more people would actually be playing the game. And honestly, if more people are playing the game and if people are starting to blow up on YouTube, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like content creators can actually sell video games if you think about it. Yo, Stax, out here playing WWE 2K19 my career. I'm not going to hold you. I would not play a WWE game. But he almost made me buy that joint just because he looks like he's having mad fun. Pretty much playing a video game that I haven't played since 2006. So... You know what I'm saying? Like, I really feel like if EA Sports can somehow capitalize on maybe a free-to-play type service, and yes, make it a service. If you make it a service, that's going to be all the difference right there. The game could definitely do numbers if it's free-to-play and there's a service involved with it. Now, you guys tell me, is NBA Live 20 canceled? Not delayed, but canceled. Or do you feel like they're actually putting all of their focus into NBA Live 21 for next gen? Or do you feel like they're actually coming out in October, going back to their original release date? Y'all let me know and comment below. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Make sure you go ahead and dunk all over that like button for your boy, I'm telling y'all. And make sure, if you haven't already, to go ahead and check out that video right there. I promise you, you're going to love that joint. That joint good, too. And make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Your boy, Fly Guy. I'm out.